up in the holy faith yes. by reading the Word of God. He is, he is the Word. Yes. You're taking in Him. Just like we took communion earlier, you're taking in Him. When you read the Word, if you're hungry, you want bread. You're thirsty, you want water. He's both. Amen. Hallelujah. We can anoint Christ by just like these leopard, this leopard did, by glorifying Him. We can anoint Him by thanking Him and praising Him. It's like pouring oil on the Lord. Hallelujah. With our lives. We spend our lives on a lot of things, but nothing more important than spending them on Jesus Amen. and His work. Yes. Amen. What is His work? His people. Not just the ones that are saved or church, but people in general. The lost. Amen. The hurting, the lonely, the depressed, the discouraged, trotted down. Mm. Here's yet one more way that we can anoint the Lord. Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 40. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy mind, with all thy soul. Hallelujah. And your neighbor as yourself. That's how you can also bless and anoint the Lord. That's how you not only get favor, but you find favor. And you give favor back. Amen. By loving others. Even the unlovable. Ooh, we got any lovers in here? Ooh. How do you anoint the Lord? Do you do it like Mary? Maybe in your prayer time? Visualize yourself. I do. I visualize myself bowing down at His feet. Amen. Crying all over. I can't wipe them with my hair, but I'll bless God. I'll wipe them so I'll use my cheeks or something. But you know what? Love will drive you to it. Amen. Love will drive you to it. Do you love the Lord today? Am I in the right place? Amen. Oh, that was weak. That was weak. That was weak. I'm not letting you get away with that. That's right. I said, do you love the Lord today? Amen. Amen. Love you Lord. still ain't there. You still ain't there. Come on. Do you love the Lord today? Love you, Lord. you act like I got the heat on or something. Fall asleep on me. Glory to your God. While we're at it, you know why they call Palm Sunday Palm Sunday? Because they lay down the palms and their clothes off. Well, we got palms too. Now, we used to give out a lot of palms, but then they made a mess and I'm tired of cleaning it up. So I figured, Lord, we need some palms in this place. He said, Y'all got two palms each. Use them for the glory of God. Come on. Clean up no mess. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. After all, He has done a lot for us. Amen. Has He done anything for you? Now you know why we need to anoint Him with our praise. Flower Him with our love. Amen. He does it for us all the time. Woo. Hallelujah. Jesus talked about how he wanted to go to Jerusalem. His heart was heavy for Jerusalem, the Jewish people. And during that time of that Palm Sunday, as they celebrated, he was already grieving in his spirit and his heart because he knew what he was going to face. But as he was going to Jerusalem, he stopped and he looked out over the city. And he began to weep. He began to cry over souls. We cry over a lot of things. Some of them ain't even necessary. We need to shed some tears for souls. Yes. And he looked and he said something like this. He said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killeth the prophets. Imagine, killed my messengers. <laughs> killed those that were bringing you the good news of salvation. You, you killed them because you didn't want to hear what they had to say. You got convicted. And you got rid of them. All the prophets. They did the same thing later to him and the disciples. And if they had a chance, they'll do it to you. If you don't turn and run like the other nine. Amen? Amen. 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 
And he weeped over the city and he said, Oh, how often I wanted to take you and like a mother hen, put you under my wings. He said, But you would not let me. You, would, you didn't want none of it. You didn't want none of me. And people are saying that today as I stand in this pulpit telling you the good news. They don't want to hear it. They don't want nothing to do with it. But we still have to keep on spreading the good news anyhow. Yes. Because there's people out there that will hear it. And we can't give up on them. You're going to go through persecution and all kinds of things for His sake. But believe me, on that day it'll be worth it all. Amen. 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 They were glorifying Him one minute and crucifying Him the next. But He told them that the Pharisees were jealous. There's always going to be somebody jealous. Pharisees and scribes and Sadducees and the high priests, they were jealous because the people were hollering, Hosanna in the highest. And the kids were just coming, the children were coming, everybody was coming, crowds were coming from all over for the Passover. They were all there, and they were all praising Him because some were healed by Him, some were delivered by Him, and the, the jealousy just rose up into a rage. They had enough nerve to say to Him, don't you hear what these kids are saying? Giving you praise like you're God or something. But I like what Jesus said. They never could trap Him, you know, with His wisdom and knowledge. Being God in the flesh. Come on, somebody. Amen. How do you get over on that? And then he turned to him and says, If they stop praising me, the rocks will cry out. The rocks themselves that he made had more sense than them Pharisees. And if they had to, he'd make the rocks cry out and praise them. Well, I got news for you today. I'm not letting no rocks out praise me. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. I'm going, hey, I'm going to keep on praising us. Hallelujah. No. I don't know about you. I, I hope you love the Lord like I love the Lord. I hope you trust the Lord like I trust the Lord. I hope you hope in the Lord like I hope in the Lord. I hope you believe in the Lord like I believe in the Lord. Amen. Amen. I hope you want to serve the Lord like I want to serve the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Thank you, Jesus. We all need to be thankful and grateful because the devil comes and knocking. And when he does, you better have your praise on. When he comes knocking, seeking whom he may devour, who he might kill, whom he might destroy, what family he can corrupt. Mm. Come on. What drugs he can get you hooked on. Mm. What alcohol he can drown you with. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. We're all leopards of one type or another, but we need to be clean from all that yeah. stuff. Right. So they had a skin problem. We got a sin problem amen. that we need Jesus to heal us from. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Hey. Glory to Jesus God. It's like that song said, you can't have my family. Right. You can't have my honey and you can't have my money. Come on, somebody. <laughs> hey! I made that one up if you like it anyway. <laughs> Glory to God. Hey, get your filthy hands off my kids. Right. Amen. You lying Amen. devil. Amen. Come on. Amen. Can't have them. That's right. Get your hand out of my pocket. That's right. Amen. Leave my money alone. It belongs to God. Use it for the glory of God. It'll come around. To the, it's a cast your bread upon the water. In many days, it'll come back to you. Just keep on casting it. How many know what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. The more you give, the more he gives back. Hallelujah. Ooh, glory be to God. You got to make sure you have enough spiritual money in your bank account. So when that devil comes around, you can make a withdrawal. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because Jesus paid, hey, Jesus paid the price. Now if you're bankrupt, you got, got, got nothing in the bank. Mm -hmm. So you got to get, get busy doing some, something for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Loving the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength like we read. Loving your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Amen. Just doing things for Jesus ain't going to get you into heaven. It's nice. It's good. 
But that's not the whole big deal. Amen? Amen. You got to first love him, then love somebody else, everybody else. Come on, even your enemies. Yes. Then go serve the Lord yes. and get your reward. Don't get it backwards. Some people say, well, I'm just going to serve the Lord. I'm going to do all these things. And I'm going to slide in. You ain't sliding nowhere but into hell if you think like that. That's right. Hey! Yes. There's a place for works. Amen? But that has to follow salvation. Yes. That has to follow you're working because you love the Lord. That's right. Amen? Amen? You're doing it as unto man to please God. Mm -hmm. Even some men, uh, people don't appreciate it. You do it anyhow. But they don't love me back. Love them anyhow. They're not kind to me. You be kind to them anyhow. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching now. I mean, you don't like that. My God, he was all right until he hit that note. Mm. Yeah. Forgive him anyhow. Yes. They forgive me. Forgive him anyhow. That's right. That's right. That's right. See? They got to stand before God, but so are you. Yes. That's right. They're going to give an account to God, but so are you. Yes. Amen? Amen? You don't want them gates shut on you. No. I can just see Peter now talking to the angel. Hey, here comes somebody. No, are they in the book? No. Shut that gate. Shut that gate. <laughs> ain't in the book. Here comes another one. Uh -uh. See in the book? Yeah, he's in the book. Open that gate. Open that gate. Glory be to God. Woo. Which one are you? Let's move on. Hallelujah. Amen. Where we at, brother? Where we at? He's so intrigued back down. I don't know where I'm at. Talk to me. We got like 13 more minutes. All right, that is plenty of time. Go with me to God. We try to be sensitive to those that are watching by way of internet because I preach all day long if you let me. Amen. I asked one preacher one time, I was evangelizing, I said, How long you want me to preach? He said, Oh, you can preach all day, but we go home at noon. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. But I'm going to bring it in for a landing here in a minute. Woo. Here's some other ways that we can uh, feel from our heart. Amen. From our heart, anoint the Lord. Praise God. And be faithful servants to Him. Amen. Let's go to Matthew chapter 25. I'm sure you're all familiar with this, but nevertheless, let me read it to you. 25, starting with 31. Hallelujah. When the Son of Man shall come in His glory, and He's coming, and all His holy angels with Him, then shall He sit upon the throne of His glory, and before Him shall be gathered all nations, and He shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divides the sheep from the goats. 